Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the stick. Yep, sticky as hell. Uh, Madden 21, I believe. Yep. Yeah. We're playing Madden 16. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Jonas, I was, uh, I was watching a YouTuber the other day. Okay. And uh YouTuber from Kentucky. Was an IRL dude? Uh no nah, I don't know what that means exactly. What do you mean IRL In dude? real life? What is that? I know what You're IRL would told me that, dude. It's like uh, let's uh, like people like in real life streamers do this. Oh no, I don't watch any of that IRL. The IRL is just like somebody sitting at a screen talking to you while like, people. Hey, dude, I'm just doing stuff. I'm gonna do that while yeah. I work my real job. I'm just gonna. They're just gonna be like, "Hey, I'm here, just working a real job." People love it, man. To be honest, because some people are just like, "Hey, I just want to talk to somebody," and they'll just be some guy facing the screen, and be like, "Yeah, so I think I'm gonna make some some coffee today, cause I'm, you know." And then see if somebody will pop in. Oh, dude, I love this coffee. You'd be like, "Yeah, dude." Just talk to him. I don't. Know, I I don't get it myself. I prefer to watch a game. But I've. I mean, always... I could stream what I, I work nine hours a day, five days a week. I could stream forty five hours. Do it a month, a do week, it. just literally sitting there waiting to see if somebody pops in. You should do it. You might be famous, Jonas. You never know. He might just like my face. <laughs> but dude. that was uh, anyways. anyways. So yeah, Kentucky. yeah. I was watching a YouTuber. YouTuber from Kentucky. All right. Okay. Uh, relatively funny. Makes a lot of uh, a lot of butt jokes and poop jokes and okay. uh, pee pee jokes everything's you know. about poopy and pee pee oh there's a lot of poo poo and pee pee in, in this comedy but you know Jones, it, it's relatively humorous all right okay all right either way um dude looks at a grandfather clock in a video game and big hands pointing up little hands pointing to the to the right right and he looks at that and he says Okay, it's 12.15. His comments were flaming him so hard over the fact that the clock said 3 o'clock and not 12.15 and that he was unable to tell time. Okay. But then I looked this up, Jonas, and, peep and kids are not learning how to use analog clocks as much. Like, they're not as accustomed to analog clocks. I could see that, because everything's a digital clock, dude. Like, is this a problem? No. Or is this the next Is this the next it's step the in evolution? Dude, I, feel like, I feel like digital clocks have been more prominent than analog clocks for a long time. Who, who even uses a clock? I keep one in the living room of the Crazy Town Complex. I have a phone right here that tells me everything. I, I tap the screen and I know what time it is. I don't even know if clocks are like a mainstay in homes anymore. Um, I, would I, say I, 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 I think that a lot of like, not like just random people's house, like, you know, like bachelors or bachelorettes or whatever. But I think like a lot of like homes that are like family homes, like I would assume have a clock in them somewhere. All right. But it, it's probably digital because, like, the, cl the the stove, digital. The microwave, digital. Like, I just like having a clock on the wall that I can just easily glance up and see what time it is. Yeah, and it, it, we ha it is an analog clock. And yeah. I, I have no problem reading time because I've been reading time <laughs> right. for forever. But I mean, I have, a, I have an alarm clock in my room, but it's digital. Like... Every other clock that I've ever had yeah. has been digital. I just like waking up. If I wake up in the middle of the night, like being able to like look over and see what time it is, I don't know. It's just something about, like I don't know. It's how I've been my whole life. If I wake up and I can't see a clock, I'm always curious. It's like I just need to know how much longer I have to sleep until yeah. I get up. I don't I don't know if I had a clock in my room as a kid. I would have to say I probably did not. Well, I probably had like an alarm clock, but I don't even know if that yeah. is the case. So I don't know. I feel like most kids just have like their phone. Yeah, I had a uh, I had a telephone alarm clock. So yeah. um, I had a phone in my room because I was cool, and I'd like be like, "What's a up, friends? telephone alarm clock?" And it would like the phone. But here's the thing that sucked about it: it would if you knocked the phone off the off the ringer, 
the when alarm. the alarm went off, it would stop your alarm and it would never go off again. <laughs> no. So if you just went pat, pat, started slamming your hand down on the thing. See, that's an oversight that is unacceptable. Oh, it was like a, a 90s clock, dude. They don't care. Oh, that's true. They that was like know. those 90s appliances that were just like open metal that would get hot with two like little flimsy plastic handles. And they're like, why'd you burn yourself, nerd? <laughs> You're like... <laughs> I'm going to sue your company. <laughs> no, dude. You couldn't sue for getting burned on a product back then. <laughs> you couldn't sue for... That's the problem. <laughs> that was the... pre-hot coffee at McDonald's. Everyone was just like, you're an idiot. You burnt yourself. Yo, I rem- I'm not going to date myself. But I do remember when the hot coffee at McDonald's thing happened. That, that changed the world, dude. Because before that, it was just like, you should know better. And now it's like, why should I have to know better? You should make a product that keeps me safe. Yeah. It reminds me of a uh, in Arrested Development, like the corn baller thing that, like, the product that their dad made in the seventies or whatever. I don't, I don't know what that is. Why don't you explain it for our viewers? <laughs> It was just a deep fryer that was all metal, so it would burn them constantly. And they uh, all like, metal deep fryer. It was, yeah, it was something like it, would, it was something that deep fried something. And it was metal, so they would always constantly burn themselves on it. And mm-hmm. like they talked about how it was a liability for the family. I've never seen that show. I mean, I've seen like a little bit of it. Watch but I've the never first seen it. two seasons; they're very good. The third is decent. And what, then stop. What is it? The Bluth Donut? What? What? What is? I mean, no, it's the Bluth Banana. banana. The banana stand. What What is a blue banana, though? It was just because it's, it's a, a real thing. It's just a chocolate covered banana. Chocolate covered because that's a real thing, and I believe they're called blue bananas. Uh, they weren't before the show. Um, I mean, they existed before that. No, yeah, I'm pretty sure. They were, yeah, yeah. I think so. No, dude. You sure? I mean, like people were chocolate covering bananas since the beginning of chocolate and bananas, dude. Yeah, but I believe they were called blue th- banana. I don't right? think so, dude. Blue banana, dude. I'm looking it up. Well, of dude. course it's gonna come up now because that issue's been around since like 03. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out the, the real thing. But no. the, but the banana really has nothing to do with the show. I mean, it's part of the show, but it's oh, very insignificant. It was a frozen chocolate covered banana. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it was frozen. Yeah. And I'm looking to see. Frozen bananas are dessert, chopped nuts, dude. Oh, that looks really good, actually. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Sure you don't, not just because it's phallic. <laughs> <laughs> Cock. Uh, the original Frozen Banana King opened uh, in uh, 1940. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, they've been around for a while. No, were you asking me like what the show's about? No, I just I was wondering what the heck a blues banana was, but I guess it was not called always called a blues banana. But essentially, I was I knew that they had like a banana stand. That's how they made their money. There's always money in the banana stand. Dude, but I just I couldn't remember why it was like different than any like you can't yeah, just sell bananas. Like the banana stand, I mean, like it really it doesn't really play an integral part. I mean, it does a no. little bit. It makes I mean, it has some. It, like it has some funny moments and yeah. some like it's it memes. sets the setting. The setting is not always at the banana stand, but things happen at the banana stand. Very rarely. I mean, yeah. Very yeah, like it's very insignificant. I don't I don't want you to give too much to the banana. It's stand. like it's like Jerry Seinfeld didn't have to be a comedian. The comedian was just like his job, but he never like very rarely did he have like Him all of his a friends. Comedian is way more relevant than the banana stand. <laughs> 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 what is? Uh, it's like it's like Homer Simpson working at the power plant. No, it's because way more you know, relevant than he worked at the power he, plant. He could have worked at the grocery store, and it could have just been. It's less relevant than power yeah. plant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. It's like it's like Alf didn't have to eat cats. He could have ate anything. <laughs> But, you know, the cats were kind of like a part of the character, the setting for the guy. I don't really know how to compare that, but maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Essentially, it was just a stand that all the kids worked at when they were kids. And... And see, and that's his, a part, dude. Yeah, dude, it's not very... It doesn't, yeah, dude, it didn't matter. Right. It didn't matter at all. It's integral. No, it's <laughs> integral. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying is that it's, it's replaceable by any other, like, random thing, essentially. Is what I was getting at. There's a stand on the boardwalk that sells stuff that had... I mean, it could I mean, been. the location was probably more relevant than anything. 
I'm like, it could have been a butcher. You could have, you could have switched no. that out with butchery. No. You couldn't, you couldn't butch. You couldn't butch. You can't butch. When you watch the show, never, you'll know. <laughs> I will never watch the show. It's I'm a afraid. Good show. I heard it was pretty good, but it. Eh. It's. I mean, it's old. It's dated. the new. The new episodes are bad, dude. They're bad. Yeah. Like I was like a giant proponent. What was that? I was surprised <laughs> at my location. I didn't realize it was a. Uh... You're fine, dude. You got this. See. Oh no, he dropped it. Okay, well. He yeah. caught it and dropped it because he's a cut. Um Yeah, dude. I'm a very big proponent of that show. I was like, when it was on TV, like that's back when like I watched TV and cared. Mm -hmm. I, I watched the ish out of it, dude. Oh my god. See, I don't know, man. And uh in the, those when I was like I was champing at the bit. Waiting for season four to come out, and it came out, and I was like, I'm good. I didn't even finish it. <laughs> It was bad. I can't even remember the last TV show I got big, big into. I guess like Breaking Bad was probably one of the last ones. I really enjoyed Breaking Bad. It was good. Yeah, I agree. And that because and then I watched uh, Better Call Saul too. I've never seen that. It was, I heard it's it was actually good. pretty good. It, it, it was starts good. out kind of slow. Like the first season's kind of slow, but like I think this where they're at in the show right now. It's the end of the fourth season it's it's pretty much catching up to where he becomes uh where he becomes Saul Goodman and starts the, oh, the, so it's like a prequel yeah it's like his because his real name's like Jimmy or something so it's a story about him and how he became a lawyer and all that stuff leading up to him becoming and he he started showing signs of having like not so honest tendencies and yeah, like doing what you got to do yeah and then and at the, the end of the, yeah then it's like it's it's about to the part where he would be he should probably start interacting with uh <laughs> walter white <laughs> well yeah because mike mike's in the show from like the beginning oh sweet because mike is still part of doing stuff with gus and everything yeah but he's, i like mike i don't even know how him wait and mike gus is in it too yeah, Gus is in it. Oh, dude, I Mike's in it. like Gus. Yeah, dude, there, it, like it has some of the other characters oh. in it. It, it. it has a Hector, Hec the the okay. boss. The, it has the guy who was like he was disabled, it, like he yeah. didn't talk. But in the beginning of Better Call Saul, he's normal still. It shows all that stuff leading up to how he got that way. And is, is Skyler in it, dude? Not that I've seen. Oh, so. I haven't God. seen Walter White or Jesse Pinkman at all, dude. I swear that I wanted. Never mind. I'm not gonna say. I was gonna say Strangle. I she was. I she was the worst, dude. She was the worst character in that show, man. Yeah. And Skyler was the white. Yeah, I'm trying to think who all was. Uh, yeah, like the Hector guy, Mike, Gus. Then like, then it has like to do with like, uh, you know, like we 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 apologize for the the deep dive on. Uh, <laughs> What was it? What's the show? Better breaking Saul. the Breaking Bad, uh, like yeah, esoteric was, uh, character rundown. Yeah, dude, it was. It was. <laughs> but, uh, it's decent. It's. It, it kept my attention. Yeah, I might. I might I'm sure the out. fifth season will probably be cool because he's gonna start getting into like the Breaking Bad stuff. There's just so much to catch up on, man. Holy crap! Yeah, because there's what like 12, 12 or thirteen episodes mm -hmm. of seats. So you're talking like, oh, I don't want, just sit down and watch fifty hours of TV, dude. You're good. You're all caught up. And you're like, no. Yeah. Man. Uh, you know, I don't know what did it to me. I remember there was a time where I watched, like... All the shows? Yeah. I would just watch, like, six hours of, like, TV and just binge watch through a series. Yeah, to Catch dude. up. I used to do that. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, I just... Can't, I, mean, dude, it, I think we talked about this the other day because we were going to watch uh, some of the latest... Uh, well, not the latest, but, like, last season of American Horror Story that uh, that is now available on streaming... And I'm like, I'm like, man, I kind of want to watch this. And then I'm like, well, what if I like it? Then I got to like commit. <laughs> then I got to commit like 12 hours of my time to finish the season, dude. Like, I don't want to do that. It's like, I don't even want to know if it's good because if it's good, I got to watch it. If it's bad then I waste 30, 45 minutes. Right, dude. And I'm like, yeah, and I think I'm like, more afraid of liking it and having to watch more of it than right, I am of it being bad. That's the scariest thing. That's why, honestly... I, feel, I, I just really like movies. I like a movie because it's you put the two hours into a movie, the two and a half hours into a movie, you get the full experience, and then you walk away feeling good. Not too much of your time. You still got time to make a sandwich. And you know what's funny is a lot of times I don't watch a movie because I don't want to spend two hours getting invested in something. So it's like a catch-22. It's like I like watching shows because they're short, and I can just sit down and get 20 minutes or 40 minutes and be done. But at the same time, 
when I sit down, I'm like, oh, man, this movie's like two and a half hours, dude. I don't want to invest two and a half hours right now. I'm the worst. I am the worst. Dude. Oh, yeah, you are the worst. Um, <laughs> and, well, absolutely. I mean, we know that. And, like, most most of those shows of that nature are, like, an hour long, too, or 45 minutes or whatever, too. So that that's... You're yeah, asking we, me to put 45 minutes t- into, like, 12 episodes. I'm yeah, like, nah, at, at, least, at least on streaming, it's commercial-free, so it's only, like, 40 minutes instead yeah. of but an movies, hour. Movies are, movies are chill. I love going. Like, going to a movie was my thing because it forced me out of the comfort zone of being in my room and being able to, like, uh, or being at home and being able to, like, go to my phone all the time. Well, yeah, you have to focus at the movies. I love that. And me too, dude, because, yeah, because, like, I think everybody, I think everybody has, like, developed, like, an ADHD sort of like not like not as bad as like really but it's like it's the like distractive like especially when you're at home because you're not you don't feel necessarily like you have to be invested right you can't i mean you don't (laughs) it's like yeah we talked about like it's the second a slow part in a movie hits yeah we have our phone in our hand like oh i need a stimulation for that 10 seconds that they're walking through the woods in this story and they're not talking yeah i just uh i just recently watched parasite and I have to say, didn't understand a word of Korean, but I love the movie. Really good movie. Just a really good story. Um, not that I'm trying to parlay for them. But I actually had to take my phone and put it across the room because I found myself doing like one they're walking through the woods. At one point, I'm already in my phone looking at Reddit. I'm like, no, you got to put the phone all yeah. over there. And then I had to like get my chair and put it like in front of the TV so I can't be comfortable, distracted, no computer screens. No. Yeah, I found myself doing that too. Like back when, uh, when I was like when I was newly single after I was married, like you know, it's like as you're like figuring yourself out again, and I'm like, oh, I can just lay here on a Saturday afternoon and watch a movie, like, and not have to answer to anybody about it. Mm. But then I found myself laying in bed, like playing with my phone while I was trying to, and I was like, I literally had to like focus on not touch and literally just, I'm gonna lay here and relax, mm. and just watch this movie. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I need to. No, you don't need to do that right now. Relax and watch a movie, and then you, and you come and find out like, like, wow, it was really nice to. Not be on my phone. For 10 do you do you have like games on your phone at all? I do not. No. Well, look, let me tell you about AFK Arena. What is that a game? Mm, yeah, just constant advertising. That was a joke. That was definitely a meme. I get advertising for them all the time, and I'm sure that other people do too. If you're on the YouTube's. Yeah, dude. If you're watching this channel, you're getting AFK I Arena. Just get, all I get is penile enlargement ads. I wonder why. Yeah. Maybe it's because of your Google search. No, dude, I don't. Are you, wait, are you being real no, right now? No. Okay. No, I'm not. no, no, no. No, Man. I'm not. No. <laughs> I was going to say. No, no, no. You absolutely get ads based on the things that you look up. So, yeah. no, yeah, no. I was just being coy. Oh, yeah, because I definitely I definitely watched the streamer play Genshin Impact. This is way nerd stuff, dude. I definitely watched him play Genshin Impact. Looked it up just to see what platforms it was on. And I have been receiving Genshin Impact, which is like an anime. It's an anime Breath of the Wild, apparently. But I hear it's really good. But it's a gotcha game where they're like... Hey, it's free to play, but the micro. But you can buy this character, and this character makes the game fun. It's just like pay to win, essentially. Oh uh, yeah, see. And it's a game. It's a slot machine though, so it's like loot box C, but not really loot boxes. Oh my god, but they're definitely loot boxes. Yeah, like I don't mind games that you that are free that you can play, and then you can pay to to get ahead faster. No. As long as you can, as, as as long as you can still play the game and get the stuff at not a ridiculous pace. Like oh, if it's going to take me a year to unlock the next character, be, even if I play it five hours a day, or I could pay you twenty bucks and unlock him now, that ish is stupid. All right, but, we're, we're going to talk about anyways, this on the next. Yeah, we'll talk we'll, about we'll, that. We'll, I like this. So we'll, 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 that's we'll, all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. He does Twitch, TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch. That's TNT DIN on my GHT underscore crazy sound switch.tv. Heck yeah for Jonas. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out. Uh...